Hi guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. Most boa keepers don't want to get bitten by their pets. Fortunately, boas are very predictable animals that give clear signs when they're about to strike out. Today I'm going to demonstrate how you can read your boa's body language to avoid getting bitten. If you're new to the channel, this is the place for information about all aspects of keeping and breeding boa constrictors in captivity. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future boa videos. So first of all, there's really two types of boa bites. There's the defensive bites and the food related bites. And today I'm going to show you the body language of boas that are about to bite defensively. But we have to remember that a lot of bit bites that happen are feeding bites. And this happens when the boa mistakenly thinks that your hand or part of your body is food or it misses its target and hits your hand because your hand is holding the food right in front of its face. So feeding related bites happen when the keeper is contralateral damage to the snake trying to feed itself. And so when you're feeding, of course, you have to be extremely careful. You should never offer the animal food with your bare hands. You should always use tongs or some kind of a implement. Personally, I use this cheap grabbing tool that I got at the dollar store. You know, you can just grab the food item, dangle it in front of the um, snake's snout, and it puts several feet between your hand and between the food, keeping you uh, safe. There's also a variety of tongs and other implements that you can use to offer food to your snake. Just be sure to sterilize the items between snakes because you don't want to inadvertently spread any disease from snake to snake. The other thing to consider is when you're going to handle your snake, you want to make sure it doesn't mistakenly think you're about to offer it food. So you want to either use a snake hook and you can basically gently tap the back of the snake using the snake hook just so that it knows not to go into feeding mode. Alternatively, you can use a pillowcase or a snake bag. You know, sometimes I'll just basically put this over the snake just so that it knows it's not about to be fed. It also offers protection for your hand in case the snake decides to strike out anyway. And you can gently pick up the snake using the snake bag. And this will make it go into the handling mode and it doesn't mistakenly bite your hand for food. I'm going to discuss some of the signs that a snake is going into defensive mode and then I'm going to show you some snakes which might act out defensively depending on their mood today. But first I thought I'd show you an example of a snake who is showing body language that the snake is not comfortable or threatened and is you know calm and relaxed. And this is a Bolivian Amarali boa one of my most laid back boas. You can see I'm holding him. He's holding on firmly. He's not squeezing really tightly. And he's just showing you calm body language. Okay, so basically his body is nice and relaxed. He's not making any sudden movements, just kind of moving around slowly, deliberately. You can see he's flicking out his tongue. Um, you know, the tongue flicks are the normal duration and the normal speed. You know, no sudden tongue flicks. Um, so just generally a relaxed snake and once you handle a lot of boas you'll be able to determine if your boa is giving the relaxed body language like this animal in which case you can continue handling him or her or if she's, your snake is showing signs of defensive behavior, defensive body language which might lead to aggression. Many of the boas that show this defensive behavior and the associated body language are baby boas. And this makes sense because if a boa doesn't act defensively and gets eaten by predators, it's not going to survive for very long. So they've been instinctively programmed as babies to act out defensively, you know, make themselves look bigger than they really are in order to avoid being eaten by predators. Some of the most explicit body language that shows you that a snake is in the defensive mode are of course hissing and striking. And maybe many baby boas will do this. You know, this is normal, this is to be expected. Typically they will calm down after, you know, a period of time in captivity. But, you know, when the baby boas hiss and strike, sometimes it's all a bluff. In fact, certain types of boas, like tar, humara, mountain boas, almost always hiss and strike as babies, but they rarely actually bite. It's actually quite comical, just a bluff. And these tar, humara boas typically will calm down within about a year or two uh, of age. One other sure sign that a snake might act out defensively is that it forms this S-coil with its neck. 
and it's just in the position waiting to strike, you know, that's a sign you probably shouldn't be handling that boa. And then there are other less explicit, more implicit behaviors that signal a snake is about to go defensive. If you take out your boa and the boa isn't comfortable, it's going to try to get away. Typically, they'll make their body really rigid and not loose like this animal. They'll form this kind of rigid, like where the whole body is like this, where it's kind of hard to show. Maybe I'll show you a snake in a minute. But it's a very rigid body that's kind of spasming around. That's a sure sign that your snake's not comfortable. It doesn't want to be handled and it might strike out. Another thing they do is they'll vary the speed of their tongue flicks. So you might see that the snake is sticking the tongue out for longer than normal, and it's kind of doing the slow motion with its tongue. That's a sure sign that a snake is about to go defensive. And whenever I open up a tub with a baby boa, if I see that it's in that S coil, and that it's doing the slow tongue flicks, I know that's a boa that doesn't want me touching it. So you gotta exercise caution around boas like this if you don't wanna get bitten. Now I'm gonna show you a few of my more defensive boas and we'll see if they show some of the behaviors I've been talking about. So this is a hypo IMG boa and she just uh, has a bit of an attitude. You can see she's kinda of going rigid. She's showing she's not comfortable being handled. You know, I don't really handle this girl very much. I don't like getting bitten and I don't like to force an animal to be stressed. Uh, you know, but this particular animal is, you know, kind of rigid. She might strike out at me. Typically she does strike out. She was actually striking out just before I turned on the camera. Um, you can see it's kind of slow tongue flicks. And she typically will show that S coil posture with her body in her uh, enclosure before I take her out. But I also wanted to share with you guys some secrets to avoid getting bitten. And this is the secret that all these snake handlers you see on TV, that take out these king cobras and they never get bitten. But a snake's behavior is pretty easy. You just need to watch the head. And notice I'm keeping her kind of away so she can't strike at my face. As long as you watch the head and you know where the head is, you're not going to get bitten. You want to keep the head out of the strike zone where it can hit your face or your hand or anything important. Also, notice how I'm holding the snake's head towards the camera away from me. Okay, you can consider a defensive snake. Ooh, a defensive snake is like a loaded gun. Okay, you don't want to point it at anything that you care about because it might go off. So. Uh, I'm holding her head away just so I can avoid getting bitten. And she's really starting to show she wants to go back. I'm going to put her back now. She's, you know, put up with the camera long enough and hopefully she'll chill out in her enclosure. Here's another baby boa that definitely is still in the defensive stage. He typically strikes out at me. I'm, of course, holding him away from me. This is a Procalpa Peruvian boa born here last year. Beautiful to look at, but still a little nippy. Um, so this guy, I, his body is kind of going rigid right now. He's just not as nearly as calm as the uh, Amarali boa that I showed you earlier. Uh, you can look at his tongue. It's kind of flicking a little on the slow side. Just signs that he's not quite, you know, completely comfortable. So I'm going to keep him at arm's length here. You know, another thing that to, to note is that boas can definitely sense body language of the keeper. And you can see I'm getting a little nervous holding this guy. I just don't want to get bitten. He's probably picking up on that, you know, which isn't helping the situation. You know, but whenever you're holding a boa, try to stay as calm as you can, even if it is getting a little bit defensive because they can read your body language. They're more likely to strike out at you if you are acting a little bit nervous. And actually, it seems like he's calming down a bit right now. So those were some younger boas that show defensive behavior. And as I mentioned, they usually do calm down with age. However, some boas do retain defensive behavior into adulthood. And this is actually a seven-year-old uh, Suriname true red tail boa. Believe it or not, she's only about four and a half feet long. She's just a very small Suriname. Um, but this particular animal has always kind of had this nervous disposition and she usually doesn't strike out at me But when I take her out she gets super squeezy and clingy and she just doesn't show body language that she wants to be handled You can see how she's really wrapping pretty tightly her body gets a little bit rigid 
Uh, I get a lot of questions about why my snakes go up. There's actually a beam up here. So she's trying to go up and wrap around the beam and escape from me. But this is just generally body language. that This animal is not comfortable. She doesn't want to be handled. You know, I'm going to put her back in a minute here. But um, Alboas are individuals. Some of them, they're just not liking being handled. You know, and this is especially true with the true red tail boas. You know, there's exceptions to this rule, but in general, they're not as calm as some of the other boas, like your common pet store Colombian uh, type boa, which is why in general, they don't make as good pets, especially for people that like to handle their boas. You can see how rigid her body is. So I'm gonna put her back so she should be more comfortable. One thing to keep in mind is, although every boa is an individual, there are personality traits that certain locality boas as a group tend to have, and some of them are just less handleable, a little more nervous than others. And one example of this are the Pearl Island Saboge boas like this one. In general, they're just less handleable. They're, uh, they move faster. They don't like to sit still as much. You know, the beautiful animals to look at, but not as handleable, generally not as docile, although this particular animal is pretty calm. She's never bitten me. They just don't like to hold still as much as some of the other boas. So just something that uh, is a characteristic of Pearl Island boas, um, that they're more likely to have these defensive behaviors. I'm gonna wrap up today's video just by showing you guys another boa that tends to be really chill, just showing you signs of non-defensive behavior. This is an anerythristic Paraguana Peninsula boa from Venezuela. You can see he just chills out. He holds on, I mean, he's a strong animal, but in general, he's really tame and chill and, you know, just an animal that isn't showing signs of defensive behavior. And once you work with a number of boas, you'll start to be able to read their body language. And if they are showing these signs of defensive behavior, it's definitely recommended that you put them back in their enclosure, just let them chill out, give them time to naturally uh, unwind. And you know, with time, chances are pretty good that they'll become more handleable and less defensive. I hope this video was helpful. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below or reach out to me via social media. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.